Praise God. Uh, I know all of us are blessed sa ating pong uh, pagkakantahan ay uh, alam niyo po I really love that song, yung worship song that uh, uh, Brother JV led us to sing. Uh, this is really something that we need to uh, pray hard about. No, yung, yung, yung content po ng heart natin is that tutu po'y sabi ng song more of you and less of me no so kaya and and I like the part yung po sinabi doon na uh, if more of you means less of me ang sabi niya take everything ganda hindi eh, ba and yun po yung uh, pinag-aaralan natin as we go through this series so Remember, we are people with heaven citizenship. So what we have learned so far in our, seri in our series as people with heaven citizenship, we have learned that the first thing, that, uh, first, first thing is that they, the heaven citizens, they keep on progressing. Di po ba? Uh, we have learned that. Uh, they, 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 they advance the gospel, they advance in the faith, and they keep knowing and living like Christ. Yun po yung napag natin when we uh started out uh started uh, uh studying this series and then last sunday uh we've we've, we've learned that heaven citizen people they, they uh, this progress re requires proper outlook di po ba yun yung natutunan na natin and and uh they pray for maturity that's that, because that's the expectation that when we when we become followers of Christ we grow in our in our relationship with the Lord because the ultimate objective is that we become like our Lord Jesus Christ di po ba? and then uh, as as they pray for maturity we have learned uh, uh, they are they are resolved to change no na nag decide sila the mindset po ng people with heaven citizen they 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 they, they they'd like change they 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 desire for change and that change is not something for their self grandeur but that is something for Christ's glory ba? and then we have also learned last Sunday they observe themselves they do not watch other people but they carefully watch themselves okay and they are attent attentive to themselves because sabi nga natin we'd like to check our own selves if we are truly uh, following and running after our Lord Jesus Christ and we, we we look at ourselves and we see ourselves that we are really living like and thinking like our Lord Jesus Christ. So, yun po yung, uh, yun po yung natutunan natin in the, in the, so far in this series. Now, uh, to help the Philippian church to see a model and pattern of a heaven citizen and to give them that goal, Okay. The Apostle Paul give, gave them further instruction in the book of Philippians about this matter. He's saying people with heaven citizenship, okay, they have Christ as pattern and expression. Right? Yun po yung sinasabing yan dito po sa atin. Uh, in this part of the C our series. So, kindly open your Bibles with me. Uh, let's open it in Philippians chapter 2. You'll be reading verses 5 through 16. Okay? Philippians 2, 5 through 16. And I, I encourage you, I, I'd like to admonish you, brothers and sisters, as you open, as you open your Bibles, keep it open. Uh, keep it open while that we are studying this because we are all studying this together right gusto ko pong uh, gusto ko pong you know we journey we journey together as we as we study the word of god okay let me read this with you in english standard version sabi dito have this mind among yourselves which is yours in christ jesus who though he was in the form of god did not count equality with God, a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man, men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself 
by becoming obedient to the point of death, even on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent children of God, without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Samahan niyo lang po ako sa isang panalangin. Father, we continue to worship you. We continue, Lord God, to desire to know more about you. To desire more about more about your heartbeat. Your heart for your people. For your will for your people. We continue to desire, Lord God, to learn more about your words. Because we know, Lord God, but by learning the truths of your words, the more that we know you, the more that we know our Lord Jesus Christ, and the more that we appreciate and acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit with us. And by just hearing these words, and by just knowing these things, it gives us so much joy, Lord. As we have read your words, Holy Spirit, I pray and I ask that you make this word so clear and so bright and so understandable that all of us, Lord God, would truly know the truths of your Open our ears and open our hearts. Na sa oras na ito, wala po kaming ibang madidinig na tinig na nangungusap sa amin, kundi ikaw, banal na spiritong nagtuturo sa amin. And as you open our hearts, Lord, that we may accept all these things once again, and that, Lord God, be tran we be transformed according to the truths of these words, Lord God. We have learned and continue learning that it's, it's your desire for us to be like our Lord Jesus Christ. So, Lord, mold us as we continue to learn your words this morning. Bigyan mo po kami ng puso na tunay, Panginoong, hinahanap ka. Tunay, Lord, na nauuuhaw sa'yo. Tunay na gusto kong makilala. Tunay, O oh Diyos, na gustong matuto sa iyong mga salita. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, my God, my rock, and my Redeemer. Lord, I am nobody. But I am, Lord God, tasked to share your words. And so here I am, Lord. Use your servant. Speak through me, Lord. I thank you, Lord God. Because it is my desire na bigyan po kayo ng glory as we hear these words. It is my desire, Lord God, to share the truths of your words to your people. Thank you, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. Natu tayo magsabi ng Amen. So here, immediately makikita po natin dito sa passage na ating binasa that Christ is the supreme example of loving and faithful service to God. 
and mature followers of Him can also serve as role models in these regards. So, dito, makita po natin nga, we notice immediately that the Apostle Paul is giving Christ to the believers in Philippi that there is no other supreme example that they can see and look upon none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. And hindi po natapos do si Apostle Paul. He is also telling to the Church of Philippi, look also to the lives of those mature followers because they also can serve as models and examples as they follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, Church, listen up. Uh, people with heaven citizenship pattern on how they should live their lives, how they conduct their lives. In this particular chapter, sinasabi po ni Apostle Paul, here is your pattern. And this is how you should live your lives. This is how you conduct your lives now. So here, the Apostle Paul sets the tone immediately of, the next, of his next instruction to the believers in Philippi. He told them, that he instructed them that believers, the believers that their goal is to become more like Christ. Church, listen up. Being people with heaven citizenship, being followers of Christ, listen up, church. Our goal is to become more like Christ. And we can find out we can find that in uh, chapter 3, verses 11 to 16. Now, for our purpose, define po natin, what is pattern? Well, pattern po is a model considered worthy of imitation. That's a pattern. That's how we define pattern. So, ito po isang modelo. Na pwede natin kung sino, worthy siya at para gayain. Right? Then the next word na gusto ko pong bigyan natin ng defi definition as we go on with our study, is the word expression. The expression po, this is the act of, of expressing or conveying or representing. Meaning to say, it's a manifestation. This is something that we manifest. We manifest through our words, through our action. Ano po? Yun po yung expression. Okay? And this is the tone that we are to see and learn and follow as well this morning. Ito po yung gusto ko pong makita natin, ma 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 maunawa natin, matutunan natin, nasundin natin ngayong umaga, starting this morning. So, mga kapatid, di ba we imitate whom we follow? Tama po? Uh, ako po ay, uh, hindi ko po napagpaalam to kay Brother Jabid, pero alam po, ako po ay nabibless sa kanya. Because every Sunday na lang po, iba ang wardrobe niya. Ah, hindi po, hindi, that's, hindi ko po, hindi po ako natatawa. Ako po ay natutuwa. You know why? Because it's all, it only reflects whom he follow. And there's nothing wrong about it. Ang sinasabi ko lang po dito, mga kapatid, this is one reality. Whom we follow, we imitate. Tama po ba? Uh, nung, nung ako po ay so much into basketball, nung, during my younger years, that was ta five years ago. <laughs> During my high school days and even in my college days, ang idol na idol ko po talaga sa basketball noon ay, oh, of course, NBA at that time si Magic Johnson. Okay? Uh, pilit po nila akong pinapaamin, pinapaamin na si Michael Jordan daw. Uh, but later on, uh, mas gusto ko po si Kobe Bryant. Okay? Uh, sabi na naman ng mga anak ko dito ngayon, Talaga si Papa, iniiwasan nila siya si Michael Jordan. Ano, hater, basher ni Michael Jordan. Okay. Like, you know, I'm just being honest. Mike, uh, Magic Johnson, Nico E. Bryant. Pero sa PBA po, ang gustong-gusto ko pong, ang, 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 I considered uh, the player that I follow was Alvin Patrimonio. And that is why, as, as I continue to follow him and watch him play live and even in on TV, alam niyo po, I tend to copy he, all his moves. Uh, I started out my position sa basketball as guard. Pero si Alvin Patrimonio, ang kanyang pong position, power forward. So, 
na pattern po yung movements ko as power forwards. And so therefore, every time that I play basketball, I am positioned always a power forward. So that's my point eh. We imitate whom we follow. So here, here, here goes the, 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 the warning sa atin. So let us be wise in choosing whom we follow because we become like them. Hindi po ba? So maging wise po tayo doon. So here, immediately the passage tells us seven citizens should follow their king, their lord. Hey, yun po agad ang gusto ko makita natin. So when we take the Lord Jesus Christ as our pattern, spontaneously we express that pattern. Hindi po ba? No, if we say that Jesus Christ is our Lord, He is our King, He is our Master, we, we are His follower, then, you know, we, that he, he becomes our pattern. And sabi ko nga dito, spontaneously. Pag sinabi po natin spontaneously, it comes naturally. We express Him because we follow His pattern. Okay? So, gusto, ito agad ang gusto ko makita rin natin. And as we continue on study. Christ is the supreme example for the Christian. Yun po yung sabi sa verses 1 through 11. So, po makita agad yun as we, clear, as we def, uh, divide yung passage that we have read. And then, in the second part is that mature Christians can also serve as role model, models. Yan po yung makikita natin in the lives of Apostle Paul. At yan po yung makikita uh, immediately dun po sa chapter 1 verses 12 and 26. And then, let, if you are going to jump to chapter 3, verses 7 to 17, yun po yung tema ni Apostle Paul. Okay? And then, also, si Timothy and Epaphroditus, which he mentioned in chapters, chapter 2, verses 19 through 30. And then, ba, yan po ay, ay binigyan ng emphasis ni Apostle Paul in chapter 3, verse 17. Tingnan niyo po ang sabi niya. Brothers, join in imitating me. So that's Apostle Paul. And keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. Now that time, he is also pertaining, he was also pertaining to Timothy, Epaphroditus, and their lives. Okay? So yun agad yung sinasabi ni Apostle Paul here. But, you see, maaaring sabihin natin ito, Medyo yata kayabami, kayabangan si Apostle Paul dito. Sabi niya, join in me, join in imitating me. You know, ganito po eh, para to complete, to, uh, I'm sorry, to complete the thought. We can find, we can find it in 1 Corinthians 11.1. 1. Sabi niya Apostle Paul, Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. Okay? So here, sinasabi niya Apostle Paul, you do not just imitate me because as you imitate me, you are now uh, following the pattern of whom I'm following, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yun yung sinasabi ni Apostle Paul. No? In this particular passage, binibigyan po tayo na assurance ni Apostle Paul dun sa, po, sa Church of Corinthians and lalo na po dito sa Church of Philippi, believers in, believers in Philippi, okay? and as well as in, in Thessalonians, uh, was that he gave his life to the pursuit of believing, surrendering, knowing, obeying, and giving his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So, he, sinasabi ni Apostle Paul here, dito, ganito. Relax, okay lang, chill lang kayo. You imitate me. You know why? As you carefully observe my life, nakita niyo naman how I, how I, uh, run after because I believe so much uh, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I believe so much in His life, I surrendered totally my life to Him. And it's my goal of knowing Him more and more. And as I know Him more and more and about His will, I keep I kept on obeying His will. And that is why I already gave my life. I gave up my life for Him. So ito po yung sinasabi ngayon ni Apostle Paul dito. No? Nung sinasabi niya po sa atin na Yes, sabi niya po sa churches na we imitate Him. So here, the Apostle Paul urged the believers to pursue Christ's likeness by following His pattern. Yun po yung sinasabi, gusto sabihin natin ni Apostle Paul. Okay? Now, 
this this does not mean that believers of Christ should follow every everything that he did. No, parang sinasabi rito ni Apostle Paul, uh, hindi niya pang sinasabi ito, pati yung pagnguya ko, ano po, pati pag-upo ko, well, kung kaya po natin gawin yun, pwede rin naman, di ba mga kapatid, no? Kung paano mag... No, at sinasabi rito ni Apostle Paul, uh, if, ilagay niyo yung, isundin niyo ako as I follow Christ. Yun yung sinasabi ni Apostle Paul. Now, hindi naman po niya sinasabi rito na perfect na siya. Because mga kapatid, in, 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 in chapter 3, makikita naman po natin how he admitted that he was not perfect. Rather, sinasabi niya sa believers, as he focuses his life on being like Christ, so should you. Yun ang sinasabi ni Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul here, mga kapatid, is not being in the sense of arrogance. Gusto ko pong linawin ito. Kasi nga, ninote niya na po yung imperfection niya. Eh. Sinasabi niya, I am not perfect. I am not yet complete. So, sinasabi niya ngayon sa atin, mga kapatid, yung focus niya kasi entirely on the goal and continuously running after knowing Christ and following Jesus Christ. Kaya po, sinabi niya po in chapter 3, lahat po na meron sa kanya, kinonsider niya po na rubbish na. Wala nang sensay. And sinasabi niya po, mga kapatid, that everything that he had accomplished before he knew Christ, lahat po niyon, binaliwala niya na. And whatever that he had, whatever that he has, wala pong saysay yun because ang pinagmamalakay niya na po ngayon is that he having Christ in his life. So sinasabi niya ngayon ni Apostle Paul sa atin, mga kapatid, mimic his approach. Sundan natin yung approach. Gayahin natin yung approach na yun. You know, the best uh, teaching tool na meron po si Apostle Paul, nakikita naman po natin in this letter here in Philippians. And if you are familiar with these letters, makikita po natin yon. The best tool that of teaching in the, uh, of, of, of Apostle Paul is his life. Sinasabi niya, tingnan niyo yung life ko. Suriin niyo yung life ko. And that is why, because of that, he can appeal according to his own example, to his leaders, and make me as your model. Uh, remember, brothers and sisters, gusto ko rin makita niyo po itong point na ito. At that time, the New Testament books were not yet written. And he is speaking to believers who have, who have not physically and directly heard instructions coming from the Lord Jesus Christ. Nasusundan niyo po yan? So, what they have at that time were just the teachings coming from the apostles, in this case, coming from the Apostle Paul. So, here, sinasabi ngayon ni, ni, ni Apostle Paul sa kanila din, gusto ko po maintindihan nato, natin ito. You have not seen the Lord Jesus Christ, I've heard directly from Him, but here I am I am sent by the Lord Jesus Christ. So hear my words and follow my life. Look at my life. So sinasabi niya, yes, hindi niyo nakita si Jesus Christ, pero pag nakita niyo ako as I follow him, being an apostle, then you are also following his pattern. Yun po yung gusto ko pong makita natin dito. So he is, he is pressing. He is pressing the Philippa, Philipp, Philippian believers Follow my, imitate me. You imitate Christ as you have what you have heard coming from my, my teachings, and you have you, you follow me and others. Yung sinasabi ngayon. So, eto po yung gusto ko po uh, uh, makita po natin. Yung kataga po yung phrase po watch me, okay? Watch me, okay? Now, sa mga parents po. Uh, Whenever that we ask our children to clean our house, the house, tama po ba? Or even wash their clothes. We teach them by words, right? Tinuturuan po natin sila by words and instructions. And when the time comes po that we ask them to do it on their own, and we watch them, okay? And since that they cannot apply what we have taught them, so anong ginagawa natin? Anong nga sinasabihin natin sa kanila? Watch me. Di po ba? Pag, tapos, pag inutusan po natin sila, may pinagagawa tayo, 
titingnan lang po natin sila min. Di po ba? And then pag nakikita po natin mga kapatid na hindi po yata tama yung according to instruction, di po ba gagawin natin? Ako na nga, panoorin mo ako. Watch me. Huh? So, sinasabi natin, paro, panoorin mo ako. Huwag kaalis dyan, panoorin mo ako. Minsan po, kami dito ni Ira, pagka gumagawa kami dito sa bahay, you know, minsan po pag nagdi-drill kami, ganyan, or nag-screw uh, nag kami ng, ng, ng mga screws, you know, pinapanood ko siya, and pag, pag, pag hindi ko na po gusto yung, yung nangyayari, siya sabi, ako na nga, tingnan mo ko, ha, panoorin mo ko. We, 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 we often say, we say, sa, we say na, dyan ka lang, huwag ka alis, tingnan mo ko. Okay? Tingnan mo kung paano. Okay, yun po yung, 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 yung tinitingnan natin. And, this, and these are very important phrases. Okay, these are very important phrases. Di ba? Uh, wag, wag, wag mo aalisin mga mata mo sa akin, tingnan mo ako, panoorin mo ako. And, and you know, we ended up finishing, finishing the task ourselves. <laughs> Di po ba? Nakakatuwa po ba? No, makikita natin sarili natin, mga kapatid, na tayo na yung tumapos ng trabaho. Okay? Now, perhaps, uh, We would not let them do it. Hindi na natin sila hayaang gawin na ito next time kasi paniwala po natin baka hindi na nila hindi naman nila talaga kayang gawin. Hindi ba parang ganito? Eh bakit ba tayo ang kilos ang kilos ng bahay kasi ganito? Eh kasi hindi naman nila mag magawa yung linis na gusto ko kaya ako na lang. But you see, here, it's the wrong kind of teaching and discipline and training. Tama po ba? Kaya po, Dumadating kami ni Ira na sinasabi ko, oh anak, eto ha, and then, oh ikaw na. And then, pag nakikita ko po kaya na, hinahayaan ko na siya. Right? Ganun po yung nangyayari. And I think, ito po yung gusto sabihin sa atin ni Apostle Paul right now. Ito po yung principle na to. If the Apostle Paul could tell other people to follow his example, of which is a testimony to his character, this is my question to all of us. Can we do the same? Kaya po ba natin yon sabihin sa 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 iba? Uh, another question is that what would a new believer of Christ become if he or she imitates us? Mga kapatid, sa totoo lang po, ako po natatawa sa tanong na to. Pero po itong tanong na to nakakagising. Tama po ba? Na kung isang kung, kung ang isang bagong believer of the Lord Jesus Christ become uh, starts to imitate us Can you imagine po kung anong magiging siya in the future? Isn't this a reminder, strong reminder for all of us and a warning to all of us? You see, brothers and sisters, the world is intently watching whether the followers of Christ are really different or not. Amen po ba? Do I hear amen? Though I am not hearing you, <laughs> but I know you are hearing saying Amen. The world is intently watching whether the believers or followers of Christ are really different or not. I'd like to move and speak with the parents. Tingnan niyo po, gusto ko po itong quotation na to. Don't worry the children never listen to you. Worry that they are always watching you. Hello? Sometimes po, mga parents, di po ba? It appears that our children does not, do not listen to us. Tama po ba? There is much greater worry that we have. You list, to listen to us is just Primary. But how much is that? We need to understand and remember, they are watching us. They are watching our lives. Fathers, you'd like your children or your boys to be good fathers, then be Christian fathers. Practice what you preach. Lead them to prayer. Lead them to studying the Word of God. Fathers, lead them, lead them, lead them, lead your family to a family devotion. Mothers, good, be good example of how to submit to their father 
of how to love their father. Di po ba? And as they see this example, they would see Christ and the church. Di po ba? Yun sinabi ni Apostle Paul sa Ephesians. Another thing na gusto ko pong iwanan, share din sa inyo, gusto ko pong, I ran across this quotation. It is not a parent's responsibility to have godly children. It is parents. It is a parent's responsibility to make sure their children have godly parents. Tama po ba? Sometimes gusto gusto ho natin. I'd like to be my child to be godly and God fearing. My question to you, parent: Are you godly and God fearing? Gusto ko mahal nila Lord. Do they see you love the Lord? Di po ba? Remember, watch me. Panoorin mo ako. Tingnan mo ako. So the Apostle Paul here, the instruction to emulate Christ and other matured followers, uh, followers of Him was, gusto ko po maintindihan to, was hinged to His command in chapter 2 verses 1 to 4 and He reiterated it in verses 12 to 16. Yung pong binasa natin from verses 5 to 16, gusto ko pong wag mawala sa inyong Pananaw. Ito po ay nakakabit. Okay? Nakakabit. Doon po sa sinabi niya sa verses 1 to 4 at doon po sa inulit niya sa verses 12 to 16. Wag po nating ihihiwalay, itatanggalin yung verses 5 to 15 dito po sa verses 1 to 4 at 12 to 16. Balikan po natin. Let's go back. Verses 1 to 4, basahin po natin. May, may mga highlighted verses po ako dito. Tingnan niyo po ah. So, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, here goes, verse 2. Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord, and of one mind. Moving on, verses 3 and 4. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility, count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Now, let's move on. Let's jump to verses 12 uh, to 16. Verse 12. Therefore, my beloved, I hope your Bibles are still open with you. Pero nandito na rin po. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, and sabi ni Apostle Paul, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Verse 13, For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for His good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or disrupt, disputing. Now, gusto ko pong pumigil muna dito. Because gusto ko pong bigyan natin ng konting panahon or emphasis yung study of verse 13. Sinabi niya pa, always obeyed. Na, kami, si Apostle Paul, galing sa verse 12, always obeyed. And then sabi niya pa, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And now, he, we, he goes strictly in saying, in verse 13, reminding him, remember, God is the one who works in you, both to will and to work for His good pleasure. You see, brothers and sisters, ganito po. Just to sabihin ni Apostle Paul dito, yung secret of changed life. And the secret of changed life is to submit one's life to God's control and let Him control and let Him work in our lives. Yun po yung gusto sabihin ni Apostle Paul dito. Yun po yung gusto niya ipaliwanag dito sa, sa, sa Philippians. And the same message that He is giving to us right now. He's saying to us, are you, are you, are you, are you looking for a secret? That the secret is that submit to God. Submit to His control over your life and let Him work in your life. So, we need to discipline ourselves to be like Christ. Meron po tayo responsibility dito. Now, this is not hard for us because as people with heaven citizens, sinasabi ni, ni Apostle Paul sa verse 13, He is the one who is giving you the will. He is giving the he is the one who is giving you the desire. So when we say that we are followers of Christ, nilalagay niya po sa hearts and mind natin yung desire po na yon. Nilalagay niya po sa atin yung naisin niya yun, yung goal na yun to be like 
Christ. And hindi niya po tayo iniiwan doon because sinasabi niya, He is even the one who works in us, meaning to say, gagawin niya po yung, yung dapat at ibibigay niya po yung kailangan para po makumpleto yung trabaho na yun. Why? That is for His good pleasure, sabi sa verse 13. So we need to discipline ourselves to be like Christ. We need the power of the Holy Spirit to us. We need the influence of faithful believers. We need, brothers and sisters, to really discipline ourselves to be like Christ. And we need to always ask the power of the Holy Spirit, brothers and sister, sisters, for us to desire all the more and to follow all the more. Kung gusto ng Lord sa atin. And hindi po natatapos doon. Brothers and sisters, listen up and listen carefully. We need influence of faithful believers. It's the theme, it's the tone that the Apostle Paul was teaching to the believers then and is also teaching to us. Kailangan po natin ng model. Yes, we have Jesus Christ as model. Yes, the Holy Spirit empowers us and we can ask that always from Him. But we need models, other models also. Kaya po kailangan natin ng church eh. Kailangan po natin ng bawat isa. And we need obedience to God's Word. Hindi lang po tayo ma-exposed sa Word, but to obey the Word. Alam niyo po yung ibig ko sabihin. We need, to, we need also to do sacrificial services. All these things, brothers and sisters, would help us to be molded just like our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, we must do what God wants us to do. And we continue on trusting Him to change us. Brother, sister, if you find yourself lacking in desire to be like Christ, then that is the time that you should go to our Lord and beg for His work and ask Him through the Holy Spirit to give you the desire, to give you that desire. Kapatid, Kung nakikita mo sarili mo, parang wala kang desire na yon, then that is the time na lumuhod ka na sa Panginoon at umiyak ka na sa Panginoon at hingin mo sa Kanya, Lord, give me this desire. Give me this desire. And do you think na hindi po ibibigay sa atin ng Lord John? He will because yun nga yung for His good pleasure na ating pong binabasa sa verse 13. So I pray and I ask, brothers and sisters, part of our daily regular prayer is to ask the Holy Spirit to always give us that desire to be like our Lord Jesus Christ. Moving on, verse 15 and 16, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God, without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of light, life so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. So here's the sabi ngayon, yung mga nandun sa verses 12, Yan po ang magbibigay, magdadala sa atin sa position at condition that we are blameless and innocent, without blemish. Why? Apostle Paul is teaching us, revealing to us a no secret ingredient. Apostle Paul is telling to us one truth of this world. Hey, brother, sister, we are in a crooked and twisted generation. Sabi ko nga kanina, this world is looking intently with those people to, do, to, do, to those people who are saying they are followers of Christ. Titignan nila, tingnan ko nga talaga, iba ka. And then sabi dito, remember, sinabi ni Apostle Paul, shine as lights in the world. 
Mga kapatid, sana po sa buhay po natin, tayo po yung nagsisilbing ilaw talaga. Baka mamaya po, mga kapatid, pag tinignan po tayo ng mundong ito, mukha pong brown out sa atin. I'm joking, but that's true. And we are holding fast to the word of life. So here, the pattern expression being mentioned by the Apostle Paul was for, is from the, were from the Lord Jesus Christ and from other matured believers that people with heaven citizenship must see and follow. Now we can also consider this as the antidote for selfishness, disunity, pride and conceit and even grumbling and dispute or strife. Pasensya na po kayo mga kapatid kasi po yung kinauupuan ko po, automatic po bumababa. Kaya po gumaganon ako. Okay. Humble po yung aking upuan. Okay. Nature niya po ang bumababa. And I am reminded by this chair that it should be my nature as well. Amen po, mga kapatid? No? Na hindi po kailangang i-press. Kusa po siyang bumababa. Hindi eh, ba? With just simple with just simple illustration, we are reminded, right? Okay? Now, here. Sinasabi po, on the other hand, pattern to sa Lord Jesus Christ. Si, si Jesus Christ ang pattern, siya rin expression, and other faithful believers. Now, sina, gusto rin po natin maintindihan to. Ito rin po ang pwede natin gawing antidote for our selfishness, for, for disunity, for pride and conceit, for grumbling and dispute and strife. Alam ko po mga kapatid na ito po mga isi-share ko sa inyo na mga words. Perhaps we have already heard this a million times. Perhaps we can say there's nothing new. But you see, it is still, it is sometimes worth to be reminded of of these things. Tama po ba? Minsan po yung mga ganito pong familiar na bagay at alam na natin, ito pa po yung nakakalimutan na natin at hindi po yung dapat na pinapaalala sa atin. And alam niyo po, naniniwala ko, ito pong words na ito, these are the very things that we fail from time to time. So the first thing na gusto ko po makita nating example po of the Lord Jesus Christ and matured believers and yung antidote first is selfless. Selfless. Tingnan niyo po, si Christ binigay po ni Apostle Paul in verses 6 and 7. Who though he was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. Yeah, this is something that is so uh, a mystery for all of us. But yun po yung nangyari, yun, yun po yung nag-transpire. So we, 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 we accept it, we believe it, and we learn from it. Tama po ba? And then verse 7, tingnan niyo po. But emptied himself, by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. Pag sinabi po natin, emptied himself, he willingly gave up divine and kingly privileges of the universe and became an ordinary baby Jew bound to cross. Tama po ba? <laughs> Yung sinabi dito, he emptied himself. Alam mo, kusang loob niya pong Binitawan yun. yun di, hindi na po binitawan yung being divine, but yung privileges niya of being divine. Right? At yung kingly privileges. From king to servant. From creator to be like his creation. Gusto ko po maintindihan na yun. Tingnan niyo po ha. The incarnation suffering, and death of Christ were the most selfless, self-sacrificing, humiliating, appeasing way to God. The highest price and payment ever made and highest form of love ever shown. 
to save sinners who were his enemies. Brothers and sisters, I'd like us to remember yung ginawa po ng Lord Jesus Christ, all of these things, ito po ang most selfless, most self-sacrificing, humiliating. At ginawa niya po ito to save sinners like you and me. Ginawa niya po in time that we were still His enemies. Now, brothers, sisters, isn't, isn't it a selfless ass, act, uh, uh, act? Selfless po yung act na yun. And this is the first thing in the pattern na gusto pong pakita sa atin at gusto pong gawin nating expression din. Church, we have got to discipline ourselves to be selfless people. Because ito po ang heaven citizenship. This is what it's, it likes to be heaven citizens. Now, we can also see the same pattern in the lives of Apostle Paul and others. Yun po sabi niya sa chapters 1 verses 23 up to 25. Sabi niya, I am, pressed, I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ for that is far better. Sabi niya, Apostle Paul. Sabi niya, na, naiipit ako sa dalawang nag-uumpugan. Pero yung desire niya to be with the Lord, yun po mas mabuti para sa kanya. Pero tingnan niyo po yung verse 24. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on, my, on your account. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy in the faith. <laughs> Sabi niya, Apostle Paul, kung ako lang tatanungin, gusto ko kunin na ako ni Lord. That's the far, uh, that's the best condition and position that I would, I would ever have. The best place that one can ever ask for and be into. Kasabi ni Apostle Paul, but for your, but for your benefit, I know it's more necessary for, for me to be, to remain here with you. Mga kapatid, can you see the selflessness of Apostle Paul here? Also, sa life po ni Timothy, tingnan niyo po, minention ni Apostle Paul. Verse 20 and 21. For I have no one like him who will be genuinely concerned for your welfare. For they all seek their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. Here, the Apostle Paul is telling and sharing anong klaseng meron pong life si Timothy. Yung character ni Timothy. And what what kind of heart and mind Timothy has for his people. He is genuinely concerned for your welfare. Also, in Epaphroditus, in verse 30, tignan niyo po, for he nearly died for the work of Christ, risking his life to complete what was lacking in your service to me. This man portrayed or giving us clear pattern of how they followed Christ in being selfless people. Being selfless does not mean that one not to think of himself, rather he thinks less of himself and more of the others. Alam mo, yung sabi, selfless dito, hindi naman yung point na wala ka na, hindi mo naisipin yung sarili mo. Hindi po yun sinasabi. Ang sinasabi yung selfless, tinitingnan niya rin pong higit pa yung iba. Pero hindi po sinasabi, hindi niya tinitingnan yung sa kanya. Are you getting the point, church? His concern is not just primarily of his own, but things of the others as well. 
just simple in simple things church do you pray for your pastor do you pray for the leaders and workers of the pastor do we give time to pray for these people when we pray immediately we go to our personal concerns right but dun po ba sa list na yon do we pray for others like our loved ones whom we know that doesn't or don't have personal relationship with Jesus Christ yet i mean those this these things are revealed to us kung totoo nga selfless tayo right i mean do we go out of our way just to be able to be to minister to others or are we busy looking in our own interests ito po yung sinasabi ni apostle paul kaya po yung selfless pwede po siyang tawagin sacrificing din one who is willing to give oneself to others as needed At ito po ay isang bunga ng isang totoong umiibig at nagmamahal sa Panginoong Heso Kristo. Second point na gusto ko po makita natin maging pattern po natin gayahin is submissive. Ang Lord Jesus Christ po have showed us to be submissive. In being found in a human form, He humbled Himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Yeah, we already know that. We already know how to be submissive. Yeah, I know that. I already know that principle. But dear brother, sister, listen up. My question is, this is just a, this is a serious question. Yeah, you know that already. But my question is, are we really submissive? Are we really submissive? Are we submissive to one another out of our reverence for Christ? Yun po yung sabi ni Apostle Paul in Ephesians 5.21. We are, we are to submit to one another because we honor Christ and we respect Christ. Are we submissive to one another? Hey, hey, anong sabi ni Apostle Paul sa Romans 13.1? That we are to submit to our government leaders. Are we? Are we really submissive to them? Of course, we are going to, su to, to submit them, obey them, as far as they are not against to, to our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Di ba? As far as, that, as they do not hinder or stop us from, from, from following Jesus Christ, then we obey all the things and the proper things that we think that they are leading us to. But still, the, the admonition is that we submit to our government leaders. And, and you see what? Brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus Christ was the perfect example of humility and obedience. We cannot be submissive if we are not humble enough and obeying enough. Tama po ba, mga kapatid? And para magkaroon po tayo ng clear example, tingnan na po natin Lord Jesus Christ. Ano sabi doon sa passage na binasa natin? He willingly humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. And we know that, mga kapatid, na ano po yung form? Death of cross. That's the most humiliating form of death. And he embraced that. Being submissive, brothers and sisters, is the outcome of humility and obedience. Paul did. The apostle did. The prophets in the New Old Testament did. All those who are ahead of us did. And if you are looking for lists of names of these people, you go to Hebrews 11 and Bible will, will tell you all of these names. Are we really submissive? Alam niyo po yung what about in the context of the church? 
Are we submissive? Tingnan niyo po, sabi ng author ng Hebrews, Hebrews 13.7 Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. The author of Hebrews is also, has also the same thing with Apostle Paul, the same teaching. He say, remember your leaders. Consider the outcome, of, the outcome of their way of life. Imitate their faith. And in the same chapter, tingnan niyo po, ha? after Paul sabihan, bilinan po ng author ng Hebrews, ang, 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 ang believers, ang sabi sa verse 17, Obey your leaders and submit to them. This is in the context of the church. For they are keeping watch over your souls as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and, with, uh, and, and not with groaning for the, that would be of no advantage to you. You know already submission? You know already the principle of submissive, sub being submissive? Let me ask you this question. Serious question. Are you submissive to the church leaders? Are you? Our Lord Jesus Christ, He willingly gave up His rights in order to obey God and serve people. Lord Jesus Christ, who is King, who is Lord, who is Master, who is Creator, He willingly gave up His rights in order to obey God and serve His people. Paul did. The apostles did. The prophets in the Old Testament did. Those who were ahead of us did. What about us? Now, this leads us to the next one. Subservant. Christ gave us that example, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant. Being born in the likeness of men. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Taking the form of a servant. He had he has servant at heart. He had servant attitude. Church the heart and mind of people with heaven citizenship has this heart and this attitude. Servanthood. And they do this out of love for God and others, not out of fear and guilt. Let me ask you again. Do we see ourselves thinking and living like the Lord Jesus Christ? Do we look to the interest of others also? Are we submissive? Are we looking for opportunities to serve or to be served? Remember, the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 13, 1-3 For even the Son of Man did not come expecting to be served but by everyone, but to serve everyone and to give His life as a ransom price in exchange for salvation of many. Remember this. People with heaven citizenship. Christ is their pattern and expression. They are selfless, submissive, and they are servant. Christ and His words means life to us. Life is not life without Christ and His words. We are nothing and have nothing without it. Let us pray. Father, thank you for giving us Lord Jesus Christ. 
Because Lord, we can look at a perfect pattern. And by making Him our perfect pattern, therefore, Lord, we can express Christ to this world and be light and be lights of this world. I pray and I ask to my brethren and to those who are listening and joining with us today, I pray that you give us hearts that truly desire to be more and more like Christ. That we become selfless. That we become submissive that we desire to be servant of all. Thank you, Lord. Bless each and every one of us, spiritually, physically, materially, Lord. Bigay mo po sa amin muli ang iyong mayamang bendisyon, ang mayamang pag-ibig ng Diyos Ama, ang mayamang grasya ng Panginoong Iso Kristo, ang mayamang pakikipisa ng banal na spirito, tatlong persona sa isang Diyos, na pa sa ating ngayon bukas at magpakailan. Amen.